All right, so you've designed your first project, you've got it all beautiful on a breadboard, and you might even have etched a circuit board. But what if you want to take it mainstream? Your next step is to create your own PCB. So what are the popular programs for this and how do you use them? First off, the Clash of the Titans, the Battle of the Ages is between Eagle and KiCad. Eagle is a proprietary one that was recently bought by Autodesk. It is well maintained. It is one single program that contains pretty much everything that you need to export a PCB file for creation. Uh, and so SparkFun has a great series of tutorials on this one. Um, first up, you probably want to look at how to install and set up Eagle, which may have uh, changed a little bit since 2013, but uh, should be still pretty much the same. After that, you'll want to move on to in using Eagle the schematic tutorial, and then using Eagle board layout. Um, and they tell you a little bit how to go through this process. They've got a bunch of supplementary ones as well, and each one also links to others. So there's plenty of material here. Next, KiCad uh, is open source, completely free. Uh, so Eagle has a free version, but KiCad is free all the way. And the best tutorial that we've heard about for this one is Contextual Electronics with Chris Gamel. He has one called Getting to Blinky, and uh, they updated this fairly recently. So they've got all the videos on one page, walking you through the very beginning, all the way through building your circuit once it gets back from Oshpark. That's OSH Park, the open source hardware PCB supplier. Uh, they're pretty cheap and they're awesome and all your boards come out purple. But uh, yeah, if you want to not worry about licensing, if you actually choose to take your project commercial, then you might want to go with KiCad because it is, again, completely open source. Also, they worked with CERN, which is just cool. And finally, we have a third contender, which is Upverter. So this one is new. It's completely browser-based and it's collaborative, sort of like GitHub for PCBs. So if you open up one of your designs, then you'll be able to see who else is working on it at that very moment. So open it up in the editor, and you'll be able to check out the other collaborators and look at all the tools that you have. Um, one cool thing about Upverter is that they have actual real live humans involved. Not only can you request that they lay out your board for you, but if you choose to do it yourself, you can employ someone to check it over just so that like you get that sparkly feeling of having built your own PCB from scratch, but you still have that assurance that once you send in your files to Osh Park and you get them back a couple of weeks later, that it's not going to be a huge disappointment because of some really stupid little mistake that you made. Really good for first timers. Also, if you find a part that is not in the library, you can request that it be created and pretty quickly their team will have that uh, available in the tool for you, which is pretty fantastic. So they've got actual humans behind the scenes whom you can interact with to make your designs much better, faster, and prettier. And for tutorials for that one, uh, we recommend the official Upverter tutorials, which are on YouTube. You can find them just by searching for Upverter, obviously, but also look at bit.ly slash hack Upverter, and that will take you right there to our channel where we've um, started a PCB design playlist. And you can check out Upverter's official tutorials, which have a slight difference in the UI since these were created, but everything is functionally the same. So check those out, share your projects on Hackster. We'd love to see what you build with these and continue the debate. Now that we have three to talk about, which one is going to be the best for you? Hack on.